Okay, my exceptionally good friends, it's Roger once again. Today we're talking about meteorites, and that's an iron meteorite. Came through space, cut in half, etched it with acid, and here you have a black spot and a red spot. That's a vein, and that's an artery, because that was more than likely a heart. Smelt, because it burns up on entry, which it could all the volatile organic compounds what you're left with is the metals and there are all kind of different metals in there that's why you see all these different crystallizations now also they come in lungs do extremely well because it's the blood now this is a lung this is one of the lungs from the fossils that I work with they're terrestrial fossils they're here on earth I'm going to show you a few others this is what they look like that's where the blood is inside of it this one's been leached out from some process I don't know salts or acids or whatever and that's the basic structural part of the lung now let's see what there's another lung I want to show you all right, that's a lung too. Now I, th I think it's called a Willamette or something like that lung. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. But it's the same as this. Only this one didn't come through space. That did. It smelted. All the organic stuff boiled off, and it did this. Now I also have a meteorite here. It's not an iron meteorite, but I ha absolutely have blood in mine, just like that has blood in it. And you'll be able to find. I see the red spots. I know what to look for, and you can find that's the vascularization vascularization of a lung. Now the heart is a little more condensed because it's literally a ball of blood. Now um, let's look at something else. All right. Now this is pretty tricky. This is video from space. And um, this is in China on um, October 11th, 2019. So let's watch what's going on here. This, this is a meteorite comes in, um, a gigantic thing. Where do you see it? <sighs> Look at that. <sighs> All kinds of st stuff. And you can see it's like better than daylight. It's like um, it's extremely brilliant when it comes down. And um, look at that. <sighs> Okay, now, so enough for that. Now, that was on, uh, what did I say, October 11th. Now, this is in the northeast China skies. This is 1,100 miles away from Wuhan. Now, I don't know how that meteorite came in, and I don't know much other than what I just showed you, but I am going to show you uh, meteorites have DNA, and I'm 100% I'm certain of that. All right, you see, coronavirus outbreak. First COVID-19 case happened in November. China government records show reported. Earliest case detected on 17th of November, weeks before authorities acknowledged new virus, says Chinese media. So they didn't report it on time. That's not my concern. My concern is that this case happened pretty much in the right amount of time to have possibly originated from this um, meteorite. I have no idea, but I'm just talking. I'm just throwing it out there. i, I got to be honest with you, my only reason for doing this, I don't really think it is caused from the meteorite, but I would like somebody to look into these meteorites and see if they do have viable you know, testable blood in them. I could, like, this one here is a lung. Wait a minute. Oops. I'm stuck holding on everything. This one here is a lung. That's been tested, DNA tested, certified, 100% DNA tested, human. And anybody, any any anatomist that look at that, they, they automatically instantly know what, what that is. There's no question whatsoever what it is. Now, uh, and again, a finger of a giant. That's a giant human being. And it was tested. DNA tested. CAT scan tested. Looked at by an anatomist. If I were to show you this in a microscope, there's no way in the world you can possibly miss this. The only way, thing you can do is dismiss this. Same thing with this. All right. It's the same finger. This one came through space. This one just deteriorated and compressed. And the only way that that could have blown out of there the way it did, it was wet, and there's still blood in there. If you go in deeper, 
I'm almost 100% sure there's going to be viable, recoverable DNA. Now, I don't know how, if it, everything got so hot that it killed everything. I have no idea. But they, they got it out of my other ones. All right, so what it is is what it is. Time to look into this for a number of reasons. Now, you might be thinking, wow, that lung that I showed, that big iron lung, now that's just gigantic. How could that any, anybody think that a creature could have a lung that size? Well, that's a human hand. And I know it's a human hand because it's been certified human. That is one of the fingers from a DNA certified human. Right? That is the pad on the bottom of the hand. That's a, you know, there's a little spot there, this little piece I broke off. That's where the vein blood is, the black blood. This is where the arterial blood side is. And uh, the arterial blood leaks out through the side. And I'll show you, they all do it. That's another one like this, and it leaks out through the side. The vein side doesn't. See, the vein side, is, it stays inside because it has clamps on it. See, same thing here. And the same thing on my meteorite. Now, that's a meteorite. Anybody wants to contest that? I'd love to have them contest it. All uh, this was originally a finger, basically like this. You say, where are they coming from? Space? Everything in space is biology. They're body parts. I can't explain it. I've been looking at all the ancient texts. They talk about these kind of things, but that's the best I can do. Now that came through space. All the stuff burnt off. Now, I would say that came through at night, and at night it makes a hell of a big difference between the saturation of particles that are in the atmosphere, because it's just flooding during the day. Obviously, it heats you up. It heats up the air, too. This comes through and it double heats up. Now, at night, that came through, blistered off everything, left the, the framework of the finger, absolute framework. Same as this. That is identical. You see that? This is terrestrial. That is literally identical. Look at the, look at the little hook up at the top. See that? <laughs> look at the hook up at the top. That little hook right there. That little hook right there. <laughs> you see where the blood is right there? The blood blew out from this one because it was, it was still wet. That's explosion blood. That's not leaking. That is exploded. But I can tell you what, that will still have DNA in it. I'm almost 100% certain. I sent the ones off from these other fingertips and lungs and so forth, that, and they had DNA in, it, DNA, DNA in them. Now, and it's been certified. I have the test. So this is a terrestrial fingertip. That's the blood coming out. Blood, blood, blood. This one has the same thing. Blood, blood, and it would come out blood up here too. Just like this one. Here's another one that is... This is a terrestrial fingertip, and it was eroded. If you can see that black stain there. That's what they call um, um, a distal phalanges and it's a carbon silhouette and that has a distal uh, uh, apical tuft right at the tip of that. It's the tip of the finger and it has this big ap apical tuft. Now this was from the same hand as that and this fingertip. One fingertip was way down low and the other one was a little higher apparently. That's what I, I, I am assuming because this one is all eroded and this one was even eroded more. You know you got ten fingers so you can do a lot of erosion. Uh, and some are going to be low, some are going to be high. This one blew the blood right out. See it blows out the blood when they're lower. The blood drains down through the artery. The vein they don't drain. You see that? That is a vein right there. That's a vein right there. They don't blow out. Those do. And they blow off from the tip. That's, a, that's, that's the tip too. So can you see this? That's the side coming in. That's the, distal, um, the uh, distal phalanges, the fingertip bone. Apical tuft with all those little tuberosities, all little straps come down and hold on to it so you can move around and then there's that hook right there. You see that? That hook is where the tendons go. Same identical hook as that. 
But this one here has still all I got it still all its meat on here. I had this tested. I had it CAT scanned. I had a DNA certified. I had Gil Headley look at. It. He's a top autopsy anatomist, virtually in the world now. All of this stuff is this is not this. There's nothing here that is is uh, not un, unknown. This is a, a, a left hand. You see this silvery skin. That's skin. That's the grip skin that's down here. This is this this reddish skin here, the puffy pad of your, and it comes right down like somebody pasted it on there. That's that's just that thing. This right here is the same you have that runs down yours. Now this is just the very basic bottom of the palm. It's only up to here where your bones start to come up. So you got that much more bone bone before you even hit your fingers. And it's all out there. And I found some. I found a toe from it the other day out in the back, just sitting on the top of the dirt. So this is not, you know, it's not like deep in the ground. I'm just sitting on the top of the dirt, and that's the same as that. Identical, no question whatsoever. I mean, it's there's nobody in their right mind can deny that. Now, there's DNA in that. And that could have been the source of this coronavirus. How does anybody know? Nobody would. Nobody will look at this. And say, "Oh, this guy's crazy." Well, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm not. Nobody's going to look at it. And, and I absolutely, hundred percent, know this is no question whatsoever. This is a biological finger tip, and that was where the strap ran down. And that is one of the balls that invests in the side that locks your fingers in, so you can do all this kind of stuff. I have literally probably hundreds of specimens that I can glean this kind of information from. And there's blood in, in every single one of them. Blood in every single one. And some of them, they <laughs> drip out. So my point being today is that it's time to look at all this stuff is, is our history, but also why couldn't that be the coronavirus? Why couldn't that have been coming through space? They've always thought, oh, maybe something's coming through space. Why don't they look? I've been screaming for somebody to take a look at this for a very long time. It's here. And they're all over. I mean, every meteorite you find, you can find blood in if you look. <laughs> now, this is your expert. Now, I don't want to be nasty. I'm going to be very nice. Paul, probably a very nice guy, but he's misguided. Uh, you have to stop encouraging children that are currently out of school to watch your videos <laughs> and believe them as if there is any factual content to them. It is totally irresponsible that I'm doing bad things, I guess. Children may actually start to think that your delusional nonsense has some merit. You are using your own delusions to take advantage of young, impressionable minds. I don't know how I'm taking advantage of them. Which I and every rational, intelligent person on this planet would consider totally irresponsible. What I am doing, he considers that I'm misguiding these children for some ill-gotten whatever. And, uh, and that I'm being very responsible for doing it and, and kind of a bad, unintelligible, unintelligent, irrational person. Now, keep your unbelievable nonsense to yourself. I have showed you how easy it is to demonstrate that you say it, what you say is irrelevant nonsense and you don't have the flimsiest idea what you are talking about and just throw random words that you don't understand into a word salad. But of course you ignore anything against your cult. Don't you? You ignore anything against your cult, don't you? And won't listen. Well, I did block him because he's, you know, this is what he kept sending me. So, you know, he never said a word that had any meaning. This was all this stuff that I'm delusional. Now, what does that tell you? That I won't listen and I blocked him and I have a cult and all that. I guess I'm sort of a bad guy. Now, stop peddling your insane delusional nonsense as if it has any credibility whatsoever to impressionable young minds. I'm destroying their young minds. Stop. 
Well, Paul, I, I, I can't stop my friend. I think we're going to, and I did, I sent him a very nice, as a matter of fact, it might even be on, I was going to Tyson, I told him uh, that we'll, we'll see if I can get him to discuss this online with us, and I haven't heard back from him. Uh, I, I'm certainly willing to discuss it. I think I have some pretty good evidence to support what I say, and um, I found Paul a little hard to deal with. Let me put it that way. And he's, he 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 apparently works for some big petroleum company as a big shot geologist. And I've had a bunch of them do this same thing, never say a word of any meaning other than to, you know, pretty much tell me that I should just stop what I'm doing, that I, I, I'm, I'm a bad guy and polluting knowledge. And I see that I'm, I'm probably not that bad, and I think I am not polluting knowledge. I think I'm, I'm, I'm presenting something that should be looked into. It may not be anything, but I think it's pretty... Solid. I mean, the DNA and the CAT scans and the anatomists and the specimens and uh, the chemistry. And uh, and tomorrow we're going to make some mud falls. I'll show you how to do it. It's easy to do. All right. So anyway, uh, Paul, if you're listening to this, and I know you do pay attention to my videos because you criticize them pretty well. Uh, so we're willing. To, I'd love to do a Zoom meeting with you. We record it, and then we'll let everybody listen in to what we have to say to each other. And I'll try, I, I can be respectful, and I am going to be respectful now. I, I have apologized to everybody, and I was probably nasty to you too. And I blocked you. But you, you know, you should be blocked because you have nothing to say. I, and I will unblock you if you do have something to say. But it has to be something that is not just something like this. This is not something that I should have to put up with, I don't think. So I felt reasonable at blocking you, sir. Anyway, I love you all. God bless you. And I think that's a real issue with Paul about God. as Because uh, I, I work with, see, you know, I work with Tyson. And I, I, I don't think uh, Paul has any relationship to God whatsoever or probably believes even God exists since she, he can dismiss all these other things, the dragon and so forth. I mean, he's seen everything. So this is my issue this is a little bit of a rub with me and this is probably why i maybe got so frustrated and you know because i got this from a lot of people and my own family they just don't like me to talk about it at all because it's it goes against everybody and that's the key you go against people in in as much as i do and i do and i I'm, and i i was pretty i wanted it to be known that i was very very combative so that they would combat back but there's just nothing they can do other than this guy and then then what do you do with him <laughs> if you if you'll engage and do a meeting that would be fabulous i'd love that but nobody nobody will do it, not a single one so paul i'm waiting brother and we'll talk i'll be nice and maybe i'll learn something maybe you'll learn something maybe everybody will learn something all right. I still love you all. God bless you.